What's up everyone? Little Code Ninja here. And today we're going to be talking about event blocks. So far we've learned about motion blocks, look blocks, and sound blocks, which are all pretty easy and pretty simple. Except in sound blocks, I have no clue how that music works. <laughs> but you can play basic sounds with it. But now we're talking about what's known as event blocks. So we've already been using one this whole time, which is what I said in the last video. When green flag click. This does code whenever you click the green flag. If you want to see an example of this, I can show you right now. We can play the sound bass that we got from a different uh, tutorial and click this versus with that green flag it won't execute I have to click it to do it but now it executes whenever I hit this flag which is useful you just hit a flag and then everything starts falling into place which is awesome next we have some more event blocks we have the when key pressed block and you can change the key that you want it basically has all the keys in your computer your space your up, down, right, left arrow, and your letters, and uh, your numbers, and also any. So I imagine that probably includes stuff like delete and alt and stuff that aren't listed here. So for example, when the space key is pressed, we're going to play sound bass. There we go, I pressed the space key. But now if I change it to the A key, and I press the K space key, it won't work. Now I press the A key. Right, so that's... That's the when key pressed. Now we have when this sprite clicked, which means whenever we click this cat, this it will do our stuff. So as you can see, no other way works. I can't press any keys, click elsewhere, click green flag. I have to click the sprite, right? So we could also do something more silly. Like when we click the sprite, he could um, move, he could move 30 steps right now we can go back to events now he'll move 30 steps whenever we click him right and then we can use another block that we learned from that which is if on edge bounce so that he doesn't uh, go crazy with all his stuff so now we can keep clicking this cat and move him along and yeah so that's pretty cool all right so now we can remove that next we have when the backdrop switches to a specific backdrop. So we have a couple backdrops here. We have some backdrops. So what we can say is uh, when the backdrop switches to the basketball backdrop, for example, and we can go in backdrops and switch it, right? So now we switched it. So the code that we had over here uh, would, do, would do some stuff, you know? So what we can do is, for example, we can say... We can grab a key here and say that when the A key is pressed, uh, you know, and then switch to, and then when it switches to backdrop one. So now we'll say, hey, when uh, the A key is pressed, switch to backdrop one. And then here we'll say, if it switches to backdrop one, do this. So now you can press the A key, and you can see the cat moves because we switched the backdrop. So you can do things like that so that when you're doing a story, for example, like we did, it will say, hey, uh, it switched the backdrop. So you can just directly use this without having to broadcast a message, which we're also going to go over uh, right this second. So now you can go to events. And we have also this where when something is greater than 10, loudness or timer, I guess. So I imagine you can set a timer here in Scratch somehow have to see how to do that that sounds fun but when some one of these values is greater than 10 like loudness right we can probably set that I think with volume then it will execute that but this isn't very important next we have messages so we can broadcast a message message one for example so when the green flag is click broadcast message one and then here's the cool thing you can do this with other characters you can communicate with other characters so we can have this person and then we can grab a when I receive when I receive message one then uh, we can play the sound pop right so here it will broadcast message one uh, we can probably do something that's a little bit more uh, helpful so we can play sound pop and move so now we click this 
she'll move when she gets broadcasted this message. There's also a broadcast message one and wait block. So now it will wait a small amount. Okay, now that we finished talking all about event blocks, in the next video, we're going to talk about control blocks, which I believe are the most important blocks in all of Scratch and are the foundation of basically every project we're going to be doing because I plan on doing a cool project after we look at all these different types of code. So, can't wait to tell you all about control blocks. See you then. Little Code Ninja out.